Next, sales day book or the sales journal. In the sales day book or sales journal, I repeat, why are these journals? Because they are recorded. Transactions are first recorded in these books. What does it record? Credit. Credit sale of goods. Credit sale of goods. Credit sale of goods. What is goods? Goods which we purchase to sell. So when we are selling our goods, purchase and sale, credit sale of goods is recorded in the sales book, sales day book, sales journal. If the format is exactly the same as the purchase day book, it does not have a debit or a credit side. How do we post? We take the total of the sales and take it to the credit side of the sales account. The sales is an income, it's always credited. So we total it up and periodic total posting is taken to the credit of the sales account. Credit of the sales account. Individually, the customer's account. Individually, it is taken to the, not credit, but the debit, right? Debit of the customer's account. Individual posting is to the debit of the customer's account. In case of sales, it is possible that there is also a sale tax. When there is sales tax, normally a separate column for sales tax is also maintained. What would be the entry with respect to sales tax? What is sales tax? Sales tax is a tax which is imposed upon by the authority, by the government authority. And this is collected, it is collected by the seller from the customer and then paid to the government. So basically it is to be collected from the debtor but it is not really a part of the sales. So the entry is something like this. Suppose the sale value is 1000 and suppose the sale tax is 100. So totally we need to collect 1100 from the customer. What would be the entry? Entry would be debtor, customer, debtor, account, debit, 1100, right? To sale, credit sales is only 1000. So sale tax payable would be 100. This is how we would collect the amount from the customer. The sales tax payable represents now our liability to pay it to the government authorities. So normally if the sales tax is there, a separate column is prepared and accordingly accounting entries passed. The format like I said is exactly the same as in the case of a purchase day book. Let us consider an example. On 5th January, sold to Mohan 200 tins of oil at the rate of 200 per tin, less 20% trade discount. So 5th January, you write the name of the person. This is the creditor. This is the detail. 200 tins at the rate of 200, less 20% discount. You get 32,000, which will go to Mohan's account. This will be posted to Mohan's account. Debit. Mohan's account will be debited by this amount. Similarly, on 12 January, sold to Rahim. So, Rahim account, this is the account which you take, Rahim's account. What is sold? 100 tins at the rate of 200 is 20,000, less 20% 20 discount, so you get 16,000. This 16,000 again will go to the debit individually when posting is done. Next, sold to Rahim again, 200 tins, but this is in cash here again, we have a cash transaction, so this will go to cash book. It will not come, not come in the sales table. Sold to Amit, 50 tins of oil at the rate of 200 per tin, less 20% discount. So we are selling to Amit, 50 tins at the rate of 200. Again, Amit is the debtor account. 10, less trade discount, 8,000. This, whose account is this? Amit is the customer. This would be debit. And what would we do here? So this Mohan's account, Rahim's account ledger, let us say if this appears on page 25, this appears on 75 and this appears on 65. These folio numbers, when the posting is completed, these folio numbers are filled in. 
and this total of 56,000 would be posted to the credit of what? Of sales account. Of sales account. Look at the posting here. Mohan's account. Maybe that sales journal. If that was first page, there would be references like sales journal 1. Here this would be sales journal 1. This would be cash book 25 or something like that. That's just the cross-referencing. So Mohan's account has been debited 32,000 to sales. Sales is credit, debtor is debit. So when posting is done from the sales day book, customer's account is always debited and the total of the periodic sales is credited to the sales account in the ledger. Rahim's account to sales 16,000. Amit's account to sales 8,000. In the sales account, there was a cash sales on 18 January, that's 24,000. And the total by sundries from the sales table, we get another 56,000. So there is a total sales of 80,000 for the month, out of which only 56,000 was credit, whilst 24,000 was cash sales. This is how the sales journal is prepared and posting is made from the sales journal.